when you're feeding the milk, like when you take a sheep, they, there's two guys cutting the sheep on their knees and they cut the, with the, they have a knife and they cut the, the wire, the, they cut the twine, the binder twines that, the, the, that's tying the sheaves. See, the, the reaper and binder, when it's cutting corn, there's the, it has a ball of twine on it and there's a certain kind of a knot it makes and it, it packs the sheaves in until it gets to a certain size. And then when you get to that size, then a needle goes around like that and it, it ties it with binder twine. It's a kind of a coarse twine. The farmer's friend, binder twine. Because if it wasn't for the binder twine, half the horses would be half naked around the country. You get the binder twine axe as a strap a lot of times. But anyway, and then you're in there and you're down in a box about a foot deep and the mill is in front of you four foot right and you make sure you don't fall down there you do your mother's hamburger but anyway uh, and if uh, if a stone happens to be caught in a sheep from coming from a field and if you're if you're feeding the mill and you hear this stone rattling you get back there like that and the next day you'll hear this stone take off like a bullet so you've got to be careful and anyway, when you bring it in like that, you split your shape. Well, if you're getting anywhere, if you're not a real good feeder, an occasional one will get by you, and you won't spread it out like you leave it bunched up. And if you do, the machine will give a <coughs> a kind of a grunt sound, sucking the thing down. You see, and every now and again, if it, if he's a bad feeder, you're like, <coughs> you'll hear this grunt sound coming from the mill because he didn't spread his shaves right. Thank you.